Yo, what up, and I go to Children Energy, welcome to my uh, YouTube portal. So today I pretty much decided to uh, just go over of uh, like the um, angel numbers just kind of in a very kind of a chill angelic way because like, at the end of the day the angel numbers require us to be more like relaxed, peaceful. That's what we need to get all the angel numbers. When we feel like the peace within us, that's when we actually call upon the angels to just give us the attention for us to notice them in our presence. Why we see angel numbers like 1111 or Triple eleven or or triple eleven, like uh, triple one, triple two, triple threes, triple four, triple fives. Um, there's many other ones like eleven twenty two, like two master numbers. Today is the uh, National Angel Day, which is not a real day, like an official one on on the calendar. But I could, but I kind of made that my own day because it is the eleventh of January, which is the which is one one. Also, if you add the 11119, it's four eleven, so it is a super angel an angel day, and that's how I usually. I define everything based on their, their origin, like the numbers, what they really mean, and and I define on my inner being tells me of what I'm told. It's like it's almost like given an answer by guidance. Alright, anyway, guys. So let's start off with the uh, what the eleven eleven is. What the angel numbers are pretty much your calling of your guidance from your uh, higher self, from like spiritual guides, from your masters, from pretty much spiritual things that are around you and source that they're sent from and they're uh, spoken from and, and within. So so every time you are doing anything and you glance and you notice anything, well, whether it's on your odometer, on the car, or on your clock, on a license plate, on an address, on a picture, on a uh, aisle in the store, like it can be literally anything, they're all numbers. Because everything is number, everything was created by numbers. Yeah, so the way I see the numbers is, I, I will start seeing it just like you guys did, the first number that we always notice is the 1111, which is really powerful, and today is like 11111. It's triple 11, it's triple ones, but I consider them like a triple 11 because uh, uh, 1111, that's triple double. It's because I feel like it is part of the, um, it's because when you add it all together, it is 411 actually. But yeah, so here's so the, the 1111 pretty much means that the angels are uh, around us and that the masters, because they're like two masters, and they're just kind of uh, telling us that they are in our presence and and that should be the love of our stay at uh, being at the moment. So, if you don't see the love of like at all, that just means like you're not on your peaceful path or you, you're not peaceful at all, meaning you're not really aligned. Therefore, you have to kind of. So, so that's the reason why whenever you will see the eleven eleven, it, it's the eleven eleven, whether it's at night or morning, daytime or nighttime, it's usually when you're at your perfect state, and that's why you notice them. I'm The angel numbers are pretty much yeah, just just guidance from your higher self. So when you get the angel numbers, just always uh, Google them. That's what I do. I just, just go to Google and just type in like let's say one two three, and it just uh, then it'll just give you like one, one two three angel number. Just click on that. That's the uh, that's pretty much that's what the angels actually want us to do. The masters, the higher self. Um, they want us to actually go and just Google that because they know that's how that's the best way to figure it out uh, because no one can really. Fine, unless you're really connected to your inner being, like I am right now, I don't even go to Google, to Google anymore. So, if I do get any kind of angel numbers, I just go ahead and just uh, write it down and just go to Google and just type it in and just see the stuff and then just make a post out of it. And in my own way, I paraphrase, of course, but I don't just copy and paste. Once in a while, I will copy and paste because it's such a beautifully well written by whoever like, wrote it on the web. Yeah, but overall, um, that's the best way to do about it. So that's what it is. So, so, so the angel numbers need to be followed because they are your guidance. So if you really want to follow your, your inner being and what your path is, just follow your uh, angel numbers. And that's literally the best spiritual way to actually uh, navigate the, through your life and just to kind of get the best guidance. Okay, guys, so, so the next thing, that I, the way to get the angel numbers. Okay, so the battery just died. So I kind of go back in with the battery again. Uh, and you better so anyway so, so the the question you might probably have is how do you get to the angel number so the way you get to the angel numbers is by um, first of all just first of all you gotta be aligned to get the angel numbers in uh, in order for you to uh, get the angel numbers you need to believe I mean you gotta literally trust the process it's pretty much you have to bring yourself self to uh, alignment the way to get the angel numbers so if your body if your mind if you're if you're not peaceful with yourself if you're not loving, if you're not full of gratitude, 
if you're not, and I'm saying I was not because like any one of them, they can go just like destroy the whole angel number coming in because if you're uh, like a non-believer, pessimistic, and uh, you're not uh, always in a good mood, if you're not peaceful, um, if you're not in your, if you're not in love with your life, then you like the angel numbers. And once you follow your passion, the angel numbers will even guide you like every single day. So, so the, the best way to actually get the angel numbers in is to follow your passion, whatever is in your heart, because whatever is in our heart, we usually have done it before in the past. Therefore, like it feels really close to us, even though we've never done it before. But it feels so real that it's so real that you literally want to just do that because it's just part of you. It's like that's what you've been in a past life or in a different or your purposes. Like it's something that should come in the first time on earth, but the purpose is so powerful and it's like and it's embedded like encoded in their heart. So like decoding from their heart they actually feel so close to it and so connected even though they've never done it before. You gotta just live with the belief that you gotta believe to live. You have to live unconditionally in terms of process for you to get things um, like your way. So you gotta live without any conditions. So you gotta just believe that everything is gonna, it's gonna work out for you, that uh, as long as you trust it, you trust your instincts, you trust your life, pretty much you're in a good mood, you're optimistic, that's part of trusting uh, unconditionally. The conditions, like don't allow conditions to actually make you trust things. Like don't say, okay, I want this proof to trust this. Just go ahead and just trust anyways. That alone will get you the proof you need like by the angel numbers or things will happen to you in such a perfect pace or a fast turnaround so you're like wow it's actually amazing because if what's happening is literally you are feeling being guided in a, in a physical manner in your own reality even though everything is just like it's not even real but the whole reality part, part. but uh, so pretty much once you believe without seeing visually just in your head like okay this is happening it just happened so that, that's what I mean by living unconditionally, like feel like you already have it and don't expect more for you to actually believe that you can do it. Just believe that you can do it, I mean, without seeing a physical result and the results will actually create themselves because you're like a projector and you will project that into creation to this reality. It's the key to actually getting the angel numbers in, so you gotta just believe to believe, you gotta believe to live. You gotta live unconditionally. You, you gotta have love in your life. You gotta trust the process. You gotta feel um, carefree. I mean, you have to live carefree. You cannot just live with like so much. I like, care about every little thing that, that don't matter. Always know what you're giving your energy to. If, if it's something that's gonna waste your time and has no purpose in your life or has no point, and then there's no point of giving your energy to it because then you're actually wasting your energy. So always really uh, focus on your energy and make sure your energy is actually given and spread out in an even basin I mean your life so that it's not actually drained out. And keep your mind optimistic, like think that everything is great, your day is great, have something to work on. Always uh, try to have progress in your life, like don't just waste it up by watching Netflix or eating food and watching cable and television or news. They all are just a waste to, to distract from you and your passion and your purpose. But I don't think you should just little block out. Like if you have Netflix, try to like turn off the thing for like, a, like three months. See how great you feel. If you watch the news, start watching the news. If you like to read news on Facebook about uh, things happening, like natural disasters, earthquakes, violence all over the world, don't. For a whole month, just turn it up for a whole month and see how great you feel. Because the more we give energy to that, we actually attract the focus for that thing to happen more and more and more because we're actually creating that on a massive scale for everyone else to actually get that in that country or continent or, and at that point when you just start watching all the stuff your angel numbers just go away because you get angel numbers because they, they know they have faith in you because you're, you're, you're kind of you're there you're, you're almost there but the, the good news is once you're awakened once you're awakened the angel numbers will never go away like they'll always they will not be as common in your life but they'll, they'll always come and go come and go come and go because they know that you are where you you uh, recognize them and you identify them so therefore Let's say if you're really off your grid and you're having a bad day because your mom just had a really bad the car accident. Like, my mom had had a car accident. Like, oh. I didn't take it that deep. I was like, hey, this is fine. Oh, wow, now it's like 22%. It's crazy. It's, it's like the number 22 is a master number. That's another number. It's literally telling us that we are mastering ourselves. If you just see the number 22 or 11, the 11 is, is angel number. 22 just means like the master number. It's, it's the metaphys metaphysical master number. It's just meaning that, it just pretty much means that you are mastering your true self, you're getting to your purpose. So that's a really, really like super 
inner being channeled uh, kind of fact that I just got uh, this morning. If you just uh, keep your mind quiet and be peaceful, be loving, feel gratitude, feel unconditional love, feel unconditional optimism, feel unconditional reality, like don't let your reality control your um, love, just feel just feel the gratitude without the the results and the results will come to you because when you feel you are grateful for the minimal, the, the simple stuff, the, the, the stuff that actually counts in your life, that's when you actually find you actually allow because your mind is quiet and you're happy and when you're happy you're tracked, you're like on a positive receiver and if you're on a negative receiver your frequency is so low that you only attract bad stuff so you gotta keep your positive mind up and running on a positive frequency in order to actually kind of tap into that high frequency of good and, and the best and beautiful and the amazing and the, the, the love and everything. That's when you get that stuff in. It's kind of like having a good reception and getting good, good data like fast work on your iPhone or anything or having a really low like a dialogue because your mind is like super slow and because it's it's super like a uh, convoluted with a bunch of stuff that, that, that don't belong in your mind. Work on your physical body too, like work on your physical body. I, I know that this is supposed to be like angel number, but, but I'm trying to get to the roots. So work on your, your physical body and meditate because you want to like kind of merge your physical energy, your chi energy, with your spiritual energy, which is your meditation energy, and, and we, which is also like how your mind works. So if your mind is really quiet and relaxed, because that's your meditation going coming in, and if you're physically like relaxed and balanced and that's your workout gym or running or any kind of a physical outdoor kind of an uh, activity then you definitely at that point you have this flow you just feel like all you need to do is the, uh, the third component is follow your passion whatever you really feel like you want to do in your life don't like put that away I mean if you have a job I understand you gotta pay bills um, I'll get that later on in the, in the future of my videos, but but at this point, just try to like for, uh, uh, kind of dedicate like, at least like an hour or two hours a day to your whether it's like before work or after work to your passion, and eventually, when you give enough time and energy to your passion, it'll just become your new job. So you might even just quit uh, your primary job and become your passion, and just li lift your passion work, which will never feel like a job. You'll literally feel like you're not even working. You're like, wow, I'm just like like right now, I wanna talk big but what I do right now I actually love what I do it's like I never feel like I'm, I'm working even if I have to wake up at like 9 in the morning to go to like WB Studios because I do some stuff like I, I don't work there but I have a contract with them in some way but I literally just go with, with just like passion like hey it's fun this is what I love doing if I don't just go there like oh it's work I, I just can't believe this traffic but like, I don't let anything get to me I just literally just just go and that's the flow you gotta go with the flow Find something that you love and you're passionate about and it real passionate about, not like a conditioner like, oh, this, this will make me money, so it's passion. No, making money is, yeah, making money is a whole different passion. Like, there's people that literally live to make money. That's their passion. Even though they're not a passion, but that's what they love, so the money comes to them because uh, the universe, uh, because they attract that. So you may not even realize like money is not everything, but if you really, if money is, is what, what, what makes you happy, then chase it until you find your real passion. Sure, why not? And I just said that because I'm so against greed, but if you really need to be happy at this moment to actually get to your true purpose, then it's, it's okay, just go with the money, it's fine. Just uh, at that same time, your passion will come in and the money will probably support your passion to get like more like in a faster process, I guess, pace. Well, yeah, just create that flow and stick to that flow and that flow will actually guide you to never ever feeling bored or unhappy in your life because if you have a flow, like Aaron Dowdy, um, he's like my, I watch him every day because I really like his, his flow and he makes his videos every single day because that's where he gets his flow, he feels like he's on his flow. If you have this flow, like flow of energy too, if you have this flow of energy of, that is created by what you do, then stick to that. Don't make out your primary because if something really makes you happy, why not do it every day? It's like, that's the reason why, why do I go to the gym every single day? I mean, I haven't gone to the gym for the past two days because my finger got really abused from my dog when I was holding him and just something happened. but. But the gym, for I mean, for example, like workout. Workout, it creates flow because it's pure energy. Like when I go to workout, when I get there, I feel like pumped up. And when I finish the gym, 
the flow is so there. I can literally climb the Mount Everest at that point, even though I'm like super drained, from, drained. But I'm not drained of energy. I'm just drained because I'm just physically tired. But I'm not drained. I'm like super high energy. So, so that's a flow that I, I pretty much feel like right now. I'm, I'm talking on this video, and usually I don't talk this flowy. But now I'm just talking with the flow because I really enjoy recording this video right now. You're watching, so it's like so that's my flow. So that's the reason why I, I created my garage, spent like the whole like six months on it to just build it from ground up because it, it was like super old stuff. Because I knew that it was gonna be something that I want to do to get my flow going because everything was becoming too ordinary. Like never make your life become ordinary. I was make your life extraordinary by becoming your life, your purpose by believing and and living. So create your flow, stick to your flow, and. Uh, Meditate, go to the gym, eat healthy. Health is uh, also important because if your body is too busy digesting and um, just processing all that food, then your mind is not really clear because your mind and your your bosom, your body, your tongue is the the, the colon, obviously. So if your stomach is like chilled and relaxed, then your mind is chilled and relaxed too. So therefore, you can, you'll be able to focus and be happy. So it has like a few components to feel um, to have a flow. So the flow is the flow energy, the the force energy. and that you really feel when you do something that you love. So passion, angel numbers. This is literally kind of going off topic, but it's not because the angel numbers come to you when you have the flow. If you have the flow and you're going with the flow and also the process that you're actually following, that you're destined to, that is your flow. So yeah, your flow is your path in action, pretty much. That just, yeah, I just came right now. So if you're actually following your flow passionately, then you are literally in action with your path, on your path uh, to your purpose. And therefore, you actually on top of your game, therefore the angel numbers will literally come to you like every other hour. Like today, I saw 1111, 1212 portal, um, 111, uh, 222, 333, 444, 555. Literally, I saw, I saw every single one of them. I literally saw them. And the reason why, because I was in a flow this whole day. I was like, dude, it's great. I mean, I'm gonna make my first video on YouTube after, uh, like after my trailer. I was stoked about it. I was happy about it. Just that creates flow. That energy, that that I'm literally giving out energy by saying, okay, I'm ready to receive good, and I have so many cool cool things that you know, that came in. The trick is to create your flow, and then once you create that flow, just keep on creating, just uh, living that flow by keep practicing that same flow. So, like uh, Aaron Dowry, like I was saying. Pretty much, he, he they create his flow and he's literally um, doing his videos every single day because that creates his flow. So if you have that flow going, never stop that flow because if you have that flow going, that just means that you're passionate about them and your flow is your passion in action, pretty much. So if you have that flow going already for you, there's no point of actually like uh, holding that flow back from your life because that flow is your life, like pretty much that is, that's what it is. So the last thing that I want to just say is just, just uh, like I was saying earlier, just uh, create that flow and let that flow uh, just uh, go on like a, uh, like, a, like a river, like a running river. And never stop that flow just because that, that means that you're passionate about whatever you're doing that is creating that flow. Therefore, you should always stick to it. So the takeaway from this video is uh, remember to have an alignment in your life. That's how you kind of get to the point of seeing, seeing angel numbers and, and, and getting guidance. So in order to feel great, in order to have alignment, you have to be able to have a healthy body, have a healthy mind, which is a, a peaceful mind, and make sure that you have that uh, workout in your life because no matter what you do in your life, we, even walking around the butt 10 times, that's a workout. So workout, eating healthy for the chi energy, um, meditation for the mind, for, the, for peacefulness, having alignment in your life is pretty much, that's the key. Living with no resistance, having no fear, no doubt, no regret. Leave your mind peaceful. Don't care about everything. Just live carefree. Not careless, but carefree. That's my thing, actually. Careless and carefree, 12 different things. So live carefree and uh, living carefree, allowing yourself to appreciate your energy and the gratitude of life and love and unconditional living. That's what you need to be able to balance your life and actually have a positive perspective. And your positive perspective will actually get you your flow and so once you have that flow going then you will stick to it and you just make videos or whatever you do like whatever like whatever you do fix cars that's your flow sure um, whatever you do that creates your flow stick to it it doesn't have to be something like that makes a lot of money 
it has to be something that you are that's your purpose it can be anything but that you're passionate about and that will be your purpose and your flow that's how you will ignite your flow from within to actually enjoy okay, so so that's the key to getting all the angel numbers and getting your guidance so because the angel number at the end of the day this video is to just tell you how your angel numbers are your guidance like kind of like your coaches to finding your true passion and purpose in, in life and always being happy and just feeling like happy just living life happy you are here for the joy of living so once you find your flow you stick to it and you will always feel joyful in your life and that's the real point of life of, is to live and be happy not to work and study your stuff or money or house or in your car or fancy car or fancy living to impress your neighbor your, your relatives that you have a better life than them no point because like, everyone is one we are, we are oneness just find your flow by following your passion and once you find find your flow and your passion you'll find your purpose and therefore you'll literally feel joyous and living life so always be grateful for what you have feel, find joy in, in everything don't find negative stuff in everything just one, once you find the joy in everything once you see everything with the eyes of, of joy like okay this is like joyful like this, this can create joy once you see how everything can actually create joy in your life that's when you actually find your true self and your flow if you feel the flow, uh, whatever you're doing, then that is your your passion. And by following a passion, you are creating that flow, and that flow is growing and glowing and bigger and bigger. And eventually, you'll hit that purpose, so you really know that that is your purpose because that flow has been going on forever. Now it's really big, like a spotlight, like a, like a source, like a big light. So, but that so that's the key to life. So find your flow, and and you'll glow from within, and you'll always find brightness all around you within you and outside of you and you will brighten everyone's life so that's the point of life have a beautiful evening thanks for watching this is Ari Gold Chosen Energy that's it have a beautiful peace love and namaste that's a cut